I love my new Asus Tough A15 gaming laptop, and I don't even use it for gaming. See, I had this HP Envy X360 for 5 years, which was great for writing and editing photos, but too slow for video editing and 3D modeling. I use DaVinci Resolve and Blender almost every day, and for that I needed a laptop that can handle both. In this video, I'm going to explain why this is a great mid-range laptop for creators and run some tests to show how much faster it is than my old laptop. First things first, there are many different models with the same name. So in my case, this model FA506NC has AMD Ryzen 5 7535HS CPU, GeForce RTX 3050 with 4 gigabytes of DDR6, 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, 1 terabyte SSD and 15.6 inch monitor. It also has three USB ports, plus one USB-C connector, an HDMI port, Ethernet port, and that lock thing, whatever the name is. And it also has military standard durability, which is good to have if you're a digital nomad and travel a lot, or just clumsy. So why did I choose this laptop over any other option? While I was browsing the average Pentium N200 laptops with descriptive adjectives like reliable, dependable, something got my eye. When I saw Asus, my favorite brand, gaming laptop with RTX on a discount, I knew I found the one. What sold me is the GPU, the RTX 3050 mobile. Compared to most GPUs you get with mid-range laptops, any RTX card is a beast. If my old laptop GPU is a tricycle, this is a Falcon 9 rocket, especially if you're making videos and 3D modeling. For editing and rendering videos, it has a super fast NVENC and VENC encoder that processes frames more than 10 times faster than my old laptop, saving me hours every week. I'll show a comparison later in the video. It's also great for live streaming if you're into that kind of thing. For 3D modeling in Blender, the RTX 3050's ray tracing cores are a game changer. In 3D, what you see in a final frame is light reflecting from surfaces. The reason why rendering takes so long is because it's really difficult to calculate how light works. If we compare this to an internet connection, this is like having an optic fiber, whereas my old laptop is a 56k dial-up modem. I'll run a test later to show how much it's improving my life. Also, it has 16 gigas of RAM. If you're buying a new laptop, do yourself a favor and avoid buying anything with 8 gigabytes because that's not enough. With 16 gigas, my DaVinci Resolve and Blender work smoothly and I can have 100 tabs open in YouTube without a hiccup. How about the CPU? Tough A15 has the Ryzen 5 7535HS processor and compared to my old laptop's Ryzen 5 2500U, it got almost three times better score in CPU mark rating. And to be fair, the old CPU is not bad. It's still faster than Intel N200, even if it was launched seven years ago. That means this new CPU in Windows 11 is lightning fast. Okay, all praise, but what are the downsides? The laptop is great for 2K or 1080p content creation, but not so much for 4K resolution. The GPU only has 4 gigs of VRAM, so that can be a bottleneck for performance in highly complex 3D scenes or very high resolution videos. It doesn't have touchscreen like my old laptop. The laptop speakers have pretty average sound quality. My old laptop speakers sound better. It doesn't have the hello sign in option like the old laptop. The screen has a matte surface compared to the glossy screen on the old laptop. But none of these are deal breakers. They are only nice to haves. What is important is speed. I'm really happy with the performance, touch and feel of this laptop. While it's bigger at 15.6 inches, it fits neatly on my lap and it's not as heavy as some older 15 inch laptops as it weighs only 2.3 kilos. The keyboard has a nice touch. It's also very handy to have numpad for Blender. You also have a cool RGB light for the keyboard, which you can adjust in the Armory Crate app. 
and typing on the keyboard feels natural and easy. For the fans, in normal use it's almost silent, but when you put it under stress then the dual fans become noisy, but again it's not as noisy as my old laptop. And so far I'm happy with the battery life, allowing me to do light work for 3 hours before needing to connect it to a power cable. The case is plastic, but it feels quite sturdy and I wouldn't get a heart attack if I drop it to the floor. The military standard 810H means that this laptop is designed to survive drops, shaking, heat, cold and humidity. And while talking about military grade toughness, how about you show some toughness to that like button? Thank you. How about the... I'm sorry. How about the webcam and microphone? Okay, this is how the webcam looks and how the inbuilt microphone sounds like. It's quite good if you have enough light. In the Armory Crate app, you can also change the audio recording mode, and I'm using the directional mode. Okay, now it's time to run some tests. The first one is to render a sample video in DaVinci Resolve with the same settings and compare the speed with my old laptop. It has Radeon Vega 8 graphics. The biggest reason why I needed a new laptop was that I had sold my old PC with RTX 2060 when we left Mexico and I had to go back using my laptop to make videos, which is frustratingly slow inside the editor and for rendering the final videos. In a moment I'll show you in this test how much faster I can render videos with my new laptop. So for this demo I recorded this scene in front of a green screen in full high definition at 30 frames per second. I'm also using an LUT for color grading and add this texture generator to create a moving background. While this is a short clip, we should see a clear difference in the rendering speed. Now, let's see how the tough A15 performed. I'm rendering this scene with QuickTime format H.264 codec and at 1920 by 1080 resolution. For ASUS, thanks to the NVIDIA encoder, this 43 second clip takes only 18 seconds to render. With the old laptop, I used the same settings and saw a very different performance. For the HP, it took 141 seconds to render the short and simple clip, which means the new laptop was 7.8 times faster at rendering video. So when I'm making a longer video like this review, and the rendering takes, say, 10 minutes with the new laptop, it would take me about 80 minutes with the old one. That's more than one hour saved every time I'm rendering the final video. And more often than not, the final version still has some issue I want to fix, so then I need to render it again. You can imagine how much more I can get done with this laptop. Now, the second test is in Blender. For this demonstration, I have a scene where I followed Ducky3D tutorial and I'm going to render it with cycles. I already feel sorry for my old laptop. So this is the scene I created based on Ducky's video. It has multiple lights, bump maps, and subsurface materials. I set the samples to 128. With denoising, I actually forgot to turn on the optics and use the GPU. But you'll see in a moment that it doesn't make much of a difference. In the render settings, I was using optics. I also reduced the amount of light bounces to 8. It took 105 minutes for the RTX 3050 to render this scene. As it has 250 frames, that's about 25 seconds per frame. Here's the final render. I was also very happy how fast and responsive the viewport is in comparison to my old laptop. Okay, how about the old laptop? To be fair, I've only been using EV as the rendering engine as Cycles is so much heavier. But to make this test fair, we are using Cycles with the same settings. In the system settings, I have both the CPU and the integrated GPU selected. I started the test, filmed until 30 frames and left it to render overnight. Unfortunately, my old laptop suddenly turned off during the night, as it has been doing lately. So, I calculated the average time it took to render those 30 frames to get an average and multiplied the value with total number of frames to get a good estimate how much time it would take to render the whole scene. What do you think? 7 times slower? 15 times slower? So for my tough A15 with RTX 3050 it took 25 seconds to render one frame. My old laptop took 10 minutes to render one. Asus with RTX completed the scene in 1 hour and 44 minutes. For the old HP, 
it would have taken 42 hours. That means ASUS stuff was 24.2 times faster. Talk about saving time. As I couldn't finish the rendering with cycles, here's the scene rendered with EV. As you can see, especially the lighting looks very different. Finally, I want to run a Blender benchmark test to get a clear score and compare it to other computers. Blender benchmark tests your PC with intensive scenes. It's very simple. You run the program and get a score that you can submit to the benchmark database to compare with others. So here you see my results for the RTX 3050, 1095 which lands it just inside the best 30% of all benchmarks. Now, this is not my old laptop, but with my CP, 134, which is nine times lower. And finally, this is the score for my old laptop, 29.8, one of the worst benchmarks. I think I shouldn't be using Blender on the poor HP. In summary, Asus TUF Gaming A15 is a great laptop for me. I need a powerful laptop, for video editing, 3D modeling, and rendering. Thanks to the fast GPU, fast CPU, and 16 gigas of RAM, this machine has a great performance for the price. And if I can give you any valuable tip, don't ever buy a cheap laptop. Save up for another month or two because you get so much more bang for your buck when you get something decent like this. Especially if you're a creator that needs to use content creation tools like video editors, Photoshop, and so on. If I missed anything important or you have a question in mind, write it in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. Next, you can watch one of these videos to find out more.